day, this is what makes me. No, baby, baby, come. <laughs> End of the day, this is what makes me. No, I must have you. <laughs> Chelsea Handler was not afraid to ask Ray J about his lovemaking skills. How would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten in the bedroom? Um. Be honest. I'm gonna say eight point something right okay. now. I can, everybody can get better. It I, I'm humble, you know. He didn't expect the question, but handled it with confidence. And then Chelsea took it one step too far. Depends on the woman. Uh huh. You it know? depends how many women. <laughs> That's why a lot of treadmill. Yeah, you've got a very big reputation that you need to hold up to, and by big reputation, I mean massive penis. <laughs> Sebastian Stan had all eyes on him by finally coming clean to Sharon Stone about his feelings for her. I can't tell you this for a while, but I, I, probably about 15 years. <laughs> I feel like I've seen you all my life. <laughs> and here you are in person, and you look so great. But it was Sharon's response that no one could have expected. It went from zero to a hundred. Okay, Stop. you are pretty cute. I just want to throw that out. Would you bite me in the neck? Oh my God. What just happened? <laughs> Nicole Scherzinger was talking about her time on American Idol when she stopped mid-sentence. Conan's attention had gone from her face to another part of Nicole's body, and Nicole was not going to let it slide. The way that I met Simon was they asked me to be a guest judge, focus, Conan, to be, um, they asked me. <laughs> Finally, let's be real here speaking for a second. Of, speaking of, You didn't I think I was gonna look down there? <laughs> Kevin Hart was in the middle of answering a question during an interview for the movie Think Like a Man. Something about his answer made Regina Hall very thirsty. She couldn't hold herself back. End of the day, this is what makes me. No, baby, baby, come on. End of the day, this is what makes me. No, no, no. <laughs> you got different types of men. You got soldiers and you got tanks. Bang. So, so basically, you know, to get to what I got. During an episode of Chelsea Lately, things began heating up between Chelsea and her guest, 50 Cent. You're very, very cute. You know this, right? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Lucky for the audience being there. Otherwise, the show would have been too steamy for TV. This would be great. Like, I deserve you. Maybe you do deserve me. I Maybe know. you do. I, do I feel great. like you might deserve me for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Ollie Merz was not expecting Graham Norton to expose his secret crush. If you could have kids with any celeb, oh, no. who would you have them with? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Do you remember your answer, Ollie? Is it me? There was nowhere for Ollie to hide as the truth came out, and everyone was shocked by the revelation. Yeah, it's yeah. not you. It's not him. You did this last time. You did this. Amelia Clark was fortunate enough to sit next to her celebrity crush, Matt LeBlanc. She couldn't wipe the smile off her face. Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Um... <laughs> Amelia even had a shy request for him, and Matt's response made her night. I do have one slight request from you, though. Um, so, would you would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? Uh, well, since I, you know, haven't been up on, up to speed on the show. I'm yes, say, thank uh, you. Man, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Conan O'Brien was just being his professional self, but the same cannot be said for his guest. It's as if Jessica Biel became possessed. She was suddenly very attracted to Conan. This is fascinating. You shot the entire movie in Africa? I must have you. <laughs> the conversation between Kate Mara and Craig Ferguson took a turn no one expected. One minute they're talking about horses, the next it got very steamy. But they were loving it. Are you a good um, horseback rider? Bareback, uh, pretty much. I'm really good at riding on the back of men's horses. <laughs> I didn't actually mean for that to be dirty. It just came out that way. No, you did mean it to be dirty. <laughs> you to give me a snake cup. I'll give you a snake cup, Please? young lady, yeah. Oh, dirty, dirty man. Shaquille O'Neal is known for being good with the ladies. This time, his target was shy Daily Pop guest host Roxy. There was so much tension between them. It was crazy. Okay, let's. I'm let's in your DMs. She's, she's in my DMs. I'm in your DMs. <laughs> you know what she says? What does she, she say? She says, even though I'm Spanish, you know I like that chocolate. Oh! And I tell her, once you go shack, you never go back. <laughs>
Stephen Colbert was disappointed about not being mentioned in Nicki Minaj's song, Barbie Dreams, so Nicki gave him a taste of what it could have been. It was clear he was not ready for this. I might Steven after the show. He gonna come back to work with a magical glow, but... Evangeline Lilly enjoyed her time talking with Craig Ferguson. As they had reached the end of the show, Evangeline was sad about it. But Craig knew exactly what to say to make her feel better. We really are out of time. Oh, Unless you okay. want to take your dress off. Will it buy me another 10 minutes with you? Uh, yeah, but not on the air. Chelsea Handler is not known for being shy. She was very forward during her time on Live with Kelly and Michael. Chelsea made it obvious what kind of guy she likes. As if we didn't know by now. We get along well. We do we get along well. We could have a lot well. of fun together. Well, I love black Should guys. You? <laughs> Daniela Rua and Craig Ferguson were embracing their inner kid exploring some fun party toys. In just a matter of seconds, the vibe changed completely and their adult side took over. And I'll get yours out. <laughs> it's an affliction. Here, you, just what you blew in there. Well, I know there. how to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Jimmy Kimmel came clean to Gal Gadot about his secret hobby, so Gal took that as an opportunity to ask him a very awkward question. Jimmy was doing his best to keep his cool. I've seen the movie, and I know how seriously comic book nerds take this kind of stuff, because I am one of them. Really? Yes. What do you think about my breast? A what? <laughs> I don't know. Not, Hold on. Let me figure like, it out. Okay, figure it out. <laughs> they no, look no, no. great. Yeah, both of them. Nina Dobrev always makes her talk show appearances memorable, and her time on The Conan Show definitely did not disappoint. We're sure Conan O'Brien will never forget this interaction. He loved every second. Okay. <laughs> All right. Such an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> huh? Jimmy Kimmel was prepared to make the most of his time with Rihanna. What better way than to do the Twizzler challenge? Everyone, especially Jimmy, was wondering just how far it would go. So, you would put that in one end, and I will put, put this in my mouth, and uh -oh, we will just... Molly! Oh, yeah. And we just eat our way. Russell Brand could not believe his eyes when Catherine McPhee walked in. Jimmy was ready to step in and take charge. If it had been up to Russell, the show would have gone very differently. You have to move out of your chair and... Uh, Catherine she... is welcome to No, there. she's not, it's not, no, don't do it, trust me, don't do this, don't do it. Don't say for the queen. For the queen! No. Carrie Mulligan was explaining her kissing scene with Leonardo DiCaprio while on The Graham Norton Show. Jonah Hill was next to her, and it looked like it was going to be his lucky night. You know, you don't just kiss Leonardo DiCaprio, so... Uh, we were sort of halfway through the scene, and I was sort of like, here... Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry! <laughs> keep, keep going, keep going! We know David Attenborough is the narrator of animal documentaries, but this is a side of David no one expected. They have to explain how people discover this extraordinary birds of paradise and what the male birds of paradise do oh, he's to off. ingratiate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Chastain was shocked and speechless after David's surprising proposition. One is that another male of the species has got long quills coming out of his tail. And what he does is to turn around and then flick his friend across the face with his quill. Oh, that wouldn't work with me at all. It would, it would, it would. <laughs> I can show you later. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres took everyone by surprise when she made a comment about Madonna's taste in men. Justin Bieber was not ready for what would happen next, but it looked like he was up for anything. Yesterday, Madonna said that the youngest uh, man that she ever dated was 22, and you just turned 21, I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just saying, because there's a picture of Justin we can I see here. That looks 22. That looks 22? <laughs> yeah. Beth Bears was happy to be back talking with Craig Ferguson. She even revealed something to him nobody could have imagined. And it's clear Craig couldn't hold back his excitement. Really attractive human being. There is no doubt about you look great. You know you were my first ever. Talk show, talk show, late night talk show. <laughs> I yes, that, that too, I suppose. <laughs>